Okay, so spring 24. Uh, the big thing today that we need more than anything else is many, 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 many kegs. Um, <clears throat> so ginger island is probably, the star fruit on ginger island is probably ready to be replanted. So I'm going to go and pick up a whole whack of star fruit. Hopefully I have enough money. 600 times 400 is 240,000. I do have enough for star fruit. So we'll probably go and pick up some star fruit from, I don't know if I have some on, um, on ginger island already. If I have some seeds, last time I had a water spray bottle, I had a cat. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I already have seeds there, but I'm going to need to rebuy them anyway. So we'll just go buy a bunch. Uh, ship more chi beans and stuff. And if we're going to Ginger Island, also want to make sure we close the resort because uh, make sure that we can uh, give as many gifts to people as possible. <clears throat> um, fingers crossed. All right. What's my luck? Neutral luck. How am I doing for gifting? Not great. So at some point, I should probably make a point of doing some more gifting. I was also going to do the maple syrup thing, but that might have to wait. Because if we're going to replant Ginger Island, we're going to need to spend a lot of time on Ginger Island. So, yeah, let's deal with the animals. And, uh... I don't really care about the void chicken. I do want you, and I do want you. Yeah. And I do want you. Okay. Milk. So yeah, the plan for today is definitely hit up the GI. Is there anything else I want to do on the farm? Not particularly. Oh, uh, yes, there is. I want, I want to send that ship, ship those chi beams. Copper fronts. What's up, copper fronts? How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Hope everything's good with you. What is up? I really hope I have enough chi beams. I'm really hoping... I do actually have enough. I mean, I should have enough. I think I have enough. How many have I shipped so far? Three, six, four. Okay. I can get with that. Three, six, four, and one, one, four is four, seven. Ooh, I don't have enough parsnips. Three sixty four and one fourteen is four seventy eight, which mean which means I'm screwed. Unless I happen to get my calculations right, which I I'm starting to think I didn't. Uh, you know how I was talking about how my mental health has not been good? I had a full break yesterday, but I'm f like a functioning, like, functional today at least. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're feeling better today. Hope your recovery's going well. What's up, Wyatt? How are you doing? You know what I've been thinking about doing, Copperfronts? I've been thinking about doing, like, starting some med med meditating. So what I'm about to do is have a meltdown because I may have messed up a stinking chi bean thing and I'm boned if I don't if I don't get this right, I'm screwed. Gonna have to friggin' clear out the greenhouse. Hopefully this is enough. Hopefully this is enough. Good, how about you? Not too hot well hot! <laughs> Another record breaking day and on the weather front. But the good news is that it is supposed to start cooling off. Um, how the 
how did I screw this up? I, the weather is supposed to break here soon, so we're supposed to get some uh, some cooler temperatures very soon. Um, read the roads were melting in Portland or something. Yeah, I saw some pictures that like the roads were buckling or something. All right, so so far I have shipped 364 Shifu, which means I need another 136. I have 111. That was a huge mistake. Okay. And then with 175, 475, I need, I need another 25. Chi beans. Damn it. Oh, this is bad. This is, this is real bad. Uh, I've never been great at math, but I think 111 is less than 136, right? I couldn't prove it, um, but yes. So here's the problem. I can use, get out of my way. I can use, I have deluxe speed grow in the greenhouse, so I have time to get the next batch, I think. I'm just not sure. Okay, let's just keg and start seeing how many seeds we get, and then we'll just have to total it up. Ah, this, I just, oh, this kills me. I'm wasting so much money in the greenhouse just because I, one miscalculation. Dang on it. All right. So, let's grab the uh, beans out. There we go. So, I need, uh, let me just, okay, what's my magic number again? Three, six, four. One, three, six is the magic number. So I need these two things here to equal 136. Right now it equals 121. So I need, if I lose 10, and go 40. So I'm, I need to do a whole other set for sure. This will give me whatever this is going to give me. Those two need to equal 136. Come on. So that now equals... I'm so screwed. The, so the thing is, they take four days to grow. I have four days left in my challenge. Does that mean they're going to be ready on the fourth day? Or does that mean they're going to be ready on the fifth day? This is my problem. I need them to equal 136. So right now, this equals 99, 129. Is that right? Yeah. 129. I need 136. So I need how many more seeds? Seven more seeds. So much for going to Ginger Island today. I'm going to be so sad if I fail this. <laughs> I just really need this to work super bad. Ugh. Okay. 136 is the magic number. I don't even want to do the math. 134, I need two more seeds. In theory, this might be enough. 86. Come on. All right, 86. 86 plus 50 is 136. Oh, 
136 plus 364 is 500 even. Okay, so I gotta go plant, I gotta go dig up 50 of my star fruit plants, which really makes me very sad and is a huge waste of money. Uh, but it needs to be done, so let's just do it. I'm not gonna use animation canceling because I don't wanna screw this up again. Gonna just this, I'm gonna make this day a write-off. This is too important. How did I hit that? Anyways, how's everybody else doing? Is it hot where everybody else is, or is it just record-breaking hot where I am right now? The thing that's kind of not great is we're supposed to be going to see my in-laws this weekend, and it's still gonna be pretty hot. Um, but they live, like, way up north where we used to live, and they don't have air conditioning. So if it's hot there, it's just, you can't get away from it. Getting lots of rain? <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, there's, I guess there's a chance of rain here, I think overnight tonight and tomorrow. But um, it might bring thunderstorms, which would be really not great, because, don't get me wrong, I love the warm weather. Like, I am absolutely a warm weather person. Um, but it's also super dry and there's, you know, massive chances of, uh, of fires. <laughs> okay, so in theory... That should be enough. It should be enough, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, already 1.20 p.m., which sucks. Um, I love the warm weather and the heat because I'm skinny, but I also love AC. This is true. This is a very, a very valid and important point that I think cannot be overstated. Um, is that air conditioning is good. I, honestly, we couldn't live where we are without air conditioning. Like, there's just, there's just no way. There's absolutely no way. It was, I mean, it was 46 degrees Celsius here today. Like, there's just, that's like face melting weather. Like, honestly, I was outside for a few minutes today. Um, and don't get me wrong. Like I say, I love the heat. I'm not going to complain about, uh, I have no idea how many seeds I need. I'm not going to complain about the heat. But, uh, boy, let me tell you. I mean, it was toasty. It was toasty. Diane and I were out playing pickleball on Sunday, and it was, I think, 40 t four hit 42 while we were outside. Um, which is fine, you know, you take your, uh, you take your ice water and you, you know, you stand in the shade when you need to and whatever, but, oh boy, it was still toast, still toasting. Alright, how many seeds, I'm gonna screw this number up again anyways, but how many sprinklers do I have? There's 16, 24... Uh, 28, 32, 36, 48. 48 times 8 is 384. So ultimately, that's why I screwed it up. I thought I had more than that. So ultimately, I want to have... Do I want to have... 384? That's definitely... Stay inside weather. That's the thing. I didn't mind it, though. Like, honestly, for me, it was like... Yeah, we're doing, we out here, we're doing this, it's all good kind of thing. Uh, so I'm thinking like maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe I'll have like a hundred. Oh, I got way too many already. All right. Let's sell some stuff I don't need. Sell, 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 sell. Not, we're shipping those. Sell that, sell that. We'll just sell those one there. Uh, let's give Caroline this green tea while I'm here, though. Let's see if Caroline's home. Or at the very least, no physical activities with her. It was kind of funny seeing people... Uh, there were some other people out there playing while we were playing. And um, we're talking like... They were like... Had spray bottles and like those little paper things that you just wet and just put on your skin. Just, I'm just like... Don't fight it. Just sweat it out. And just pay attention to your internal temperature, not your external temperature. You know what I mean? Like... Make sure, you know, so like we were out there playing and stuff and I was, you know, 
keep an eye on Diane because she's fair skinned and, and doesn't doesn't do well with the heat and stuff. And she said she was doing okay, but then after a little bit, I could tell. I'm like, okay, you know what? Something's changing. I I can tell something's changing. I don't know what. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe one more game, and we we got. We should, I I'm gonna want to get out of here. Why is there no bus driver present? Um, it was one of those situations where I'm like, okay, yeah, I can kind of feel like. I'm feeling something, you know, something is being felt. So, okay, great. Good to know. Let's, uh, you know, focus on that and you, then you deal with it, right? You go inside and you have a shower and you, um, you know, get, you know, just drink, absolutely pound a crap ton of water and I was fine. So yeah, it's really has a lot more to do with just staying in control, um, but if you try to fight that kind of heat, that's going to be a losing battle. Come on. Like, there's no, absolutely no way you're going to fight that kind of heat. Like, it's just, it's just not possible. Even 42, never mind 46 like it was today, right? So. So, yeah. It's very, you know, it's just a question of paying attention, kind of staying aware of what your body is doing and stuff and that sort of thing. I think I might go to Ginger Island right now. If nothing else, I can close the resort. Maybe I'll do that. I should be able to make it down to the beach in time. Can take those seeds with me. I'm gonna leave these seeds here. Still waiting for my preserve jars to finish so I can get some uh, some caviar going. I really wish I knew if. Sturgeon row. If I ship a sturgeon row, will that count as row? I might be able to... Once I get my caviar made, the next batch of sturgeon row I get, I'll probably do that. Let's see if I can make it here before Willie leaves. Yes. Okay. Who's here? Caroline's here. Did I bring the green tea? I did bring the green tea. And there you are, Caroline. Well, I've already given her two gifts. Crap. All right. Okay, let's hit the farm. Let's see how the farms do. I mean, I would imagine that our star fruit's going to be done. I don't even know if I'll be able to replant it all in before the end of the day. Not sure I could do that. Even if I have the star fruit here. And I don't, so no point. This is when being a night owl weirdo like me is the best. There are advantages. There are definitely advantages. All right, I'm going to go and close. Whoops. That's okay. Just replant that right there. Uh, I'm going to go close the resort. Just start my day at 8 p.m. and the weather is perfect. That's the thing. So last night when I was streaming, as I was wrapping up the stream, I, uh, temporary close it tomorrow, yes. Oh, only one day? Oh, that's too bad. Um, last night, so 10 p.m., I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm checking out, uh, the weather. And at 10 p.m., it was 30 degrees Celsius. Even at 10 p.m., it was 30 degrees Celsius. I was shocked. That is so many Celsius. I'm gonna go break some barrels in the mines and see if I get any goodies. Just take a little bit of time. I still need some, uh... Oh, I don't have my watering can with me, do I? Whoops. Oh, actually, you know what else I should do? I should probably go see if there's another chi quest I can do. Crypto Green, what's up, Crypto Green? It's going pretty good, ultimately. Hopefully. How are you doing? Yeah, even now, actually, you know what? I'll check the weather right now. Hold on. Um, the weather right now. Oh, we don't have the 8 p.m. forecast yet. So in a few minutes, we'll have the 8 p.m. current conditions, and that will tell us what the weather is. Uh, started a new farm. Go on. Let's go this way. Uh, 
Oh, mother muffin, son of a... I didn't do the thing for Willy. I should have given Willy the worm so I could give Birdie the stinking stupid crap. Well, that was a mistake. All right, we'll come back to another time. Uh, so it's, it's just the greenhouse with 58 kegs and access to the desert. Interesting. Interesting. Ship 100,000 of freshly cooked items. Yeah, I can do that. And I'm going to pump out star fruit for the next hour. Star fruit one. Nice. 58 kegs and access to the desert. So are you putting more kegs in the desert? Or like, how are you... And listen to your stream. Well, thank you very much. I hope I don't disappoint. Probably will. Um, I've been... Yeah, kegs are a problem for me right now. So I have about 600 star fruit. It's just enough cakes to process the... Oh, I see. Just enough to process the greenhouse. Gotcha. Uh, my problem is I have about, well, 600 star fruit that need to be replanted now. Um, and nowhere near the kegs I need to be able to replant them. It's quite sad. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, other than nothing, really. I'm just trying to get more kegs. It's going to start for me 300 kegs. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing, too, is that normally I plan... Normally I plan out kegs for the whole year, which means you'd need one keg for every three crops, because I don't grow anything in the winter. But no, I'll still have the winter, though. But... I'll still have the winter... But how the schedule works, I think, is I plant. You don't have any crops until the second week of spring. But no, I think it still checks out. I think it's still three to one crops to kegs. Either way, I need more because I only have 170 kegs right now. So the keg game is good. this is going to be a struggle. I also need to start cranking out um, tree fertilizer because I need my trees to grow. Super fast. In fact, I think I'm going to go do that right now. Um, I need my trees to grow so I can get more wood. The fun thing about this greenhouse strat is that it's completely divorced from the seasons. I mean, that is true. That is entirely true. Yeah, the, the Ginger Island thing. That's, that's why I like Ginger Island. Because it's like, you just do your thing. Doesn't matter what season it is, doesn't matter what, when you plant it. And there is the raid from Existence 130. What? 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 Welcome. Hello, Existence 130. How are you doing? Hello, TMI Music. What's up? Welcome everybody coming in from Existence 130 stream. Might I just say at this point how fortunate you all are coming from the stream of such, an, a, such a nice person. What's up everybody? Those For those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I do a lot of music streams most of the, most of the time. Um, but at the moment I am in the middle of a Stardew Valley challenge run, which is why, let's be honest, playing Stardew Valley. Um, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thanks for stopping in. Clayton James Hicks says, happy birthday, Clayton James Hicks 94. I just showed them the collab we did and the remix of it. Nice. That remix though, right? That remix is so good. Every time, like, I, I have some ideas for songs right now and I keep thinking to myself, could I get this song working at 128 beats a minute so I can send it off to 128 Academy to remix? Bit of a thing. Um, as Clayton really suggested you, well, thank you very much, Clayton. Thank you for the for the suggestion. Um, I need more tree fertilizer. Let's go get some more tree fertilizer. Oh, cutting. Never mind. This is my wife who cutting too. We're, we're marrying Maru this game. Thank you, TMI Music, for the follow. Paul, oh, I'm surprised to see you here so late. It's not that late, is it? The night sky looks amazing right now. Come over here. I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. What am I looking at? What do you see? 
a beautiful planet? I don't know what to say. It's amazing, isn't it? I guess that. I probably should have checked to see what the right thing to say was. By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. Keep it light, Maru. Keep it light. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? Alright, take it easy. Paul, um... Yes? Never mind. Don't worry, Maru, I'm coming for that ass. Anyways, um, here, let me show you a binary star system. Anyways, yes, existence of 130. Um, that remix, though. Every once in a while, I'll just listen to it just for the heck of it. Just because it's so good. But yeah, I need to start... Uh, I was thinking to myself that I would do a song a month this year. Um, and I have a song coming out really pumps you up. It's so good. Uh, I have a... I, I didn't do a song in January. I had the idea to do a song a month for the year in, like, March. So I missed February. But I also put out five songs in February when I did my EP in February. Love your original of that. Such a catchy chorus. Well, thank you. And thank you for singing on it. That's so awesome. Awesome of you to do that, quite frankly. Um... Mm. Um, anyways, I need your energy to start pumping out stuff. Well, I, um... Can't, can't talk and get my inventory organized at the same time. Excuse me a moment. Okay. I, uh, yeah, so I figured out, figured I would do that. Um, figured I'd do a song a month for the year. Unfortunately... Um, we were at the point now where it's just not going to happen. So I basically, I got five out in February, I put out an EP, and then I've had a song a month since then, but July is the last thing I have, um, kind of, last song I kind of have in the hopper that's just waiting for the release date kind of thing. I've been struggling with the work of production, production part. I just need to formulate my structure and just do it like what you're doing. Set a goal for a song a month. I mean, yeah, that absolutely, uh... Mm -hmm is a thing. I mean, it, it depends how you work, too, right? Like, if you're the kind of person who, I have fiber on me, I came all the way back here. For absolutely no reason. Um, I know for myself, it worked out. The, the only reason I was able to do it, let's be clear, I didn't write a song a month. I released a song a month. So, a lot of the songs I had released had been written, like, one song I'd written two years ago and just never finished. So, I it was... Got it, got it finished and put it out kind of thing, right? So it's, a lot of that stuff is, uh, you know, as you do. Um, but, that many? Uh, but yeah, so, I, I was not totally cheating. But it was, like, mildly cheating. But yeah. Definitely, if that if that's the way you work, absolutely, you know, set those goals and, and just do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, I've given up on trying to make me make, make music good. Like, you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Here, here's here's what I say. This is one three zero. Actually, this is this is honestly, and don't get me wrong. I totally recognize that you should ignore everything I say, but let me say this. Um, I love the freedom of improv and getting in that zone. I get so lost in that. Structure is what I suck at. Yo. I've been saving all my improv jams so I can just start organizing and putting on streaming platforms. Here's what I, here's what I would say, Accessible 130, if that is your real name. Uh, what I would say is that there is somebody who's going to listen to whatever song you're going to put out, and they're going to be totally blessed by it. And they're not going to be blessed by that song if they never hear it. So what you need to do is get that song out so that whoever that is can hear it and, you know, be encouraged or feel better or wh however they're going to feel, however that's going to work. You know, that person is waiting for you to finish that song. And they're not going to finish it unless... Or they're not going to get that feeling unless they, unless they finish it, right? So, um, yeah. That's kind of my take on that. And believe me, with, my, with the listening numbers I get, that's kind of the attitude I have to have. So, yeah. Thanks for the credit, just... Be nice just to have some actual content. I mean, yeah, for sure, right? Like, there's actually somebody I know of in the town I used to live 
because speaking of improv stuff, he would just do that. He would just like, he, one of these people that just had like had an incredible vocal range. and could do all this stuff. And, um, he would do like concerts and shows of just improv, but he would, with his looping pedal, that's all he would just, his voice and his looping pedal. And that's it. And he did an out al- a whole album that way. It's just his voice and a looping pedal. And that's it. Right. So it's like, you know, there's, there's a lot of opportunity to do a lot of cool things. It's just a question of putting it all together. Right. So. But yeah, absolutely. Like someone's just kind of waiting for you to whatever that song is going to be. Someone is waiting for that song. So and if nobody else is waiting for it, I am. So yeah. Anyway, I like I'll quit preaching at you. That's uh that's just kind of my my take on it. That's one thing I always when I always find people who are just stupid talented and it makes me angry when people are young and talented. Um because I'm old. It, it just kind of it makes me think like, yeah, just do it. Just do it. That's all you got to do is just do it. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about making it good. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just do it. Appreciate your insight. Yeah, no worries. Anyways, um, what am I doing? Kegs. Crap, I need more kegs. Um, got to do it for the love. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the money I make, you absolutely do it for the love. Um, remember when I sent you that royalty money? That's literally like, literally how much money I've made from that song. Keeps you going. Yeah, to a point. I mean, I, I was kind of like dealing with my own existential crisis fairly recently. Again, I kind of go through them fairly regularly. Um, and it was kind of a thing where it was like, okay, do I really want to keep doing this? Like, should I just give up on music and give up on streaming and just play video games and live a quiet life. Um, but it's, it's one of those things I should not leave the house right now. It's 1.50 in the morning. Um, it's one of those things where um, do it for the love. What happened to it for the money? I should hold on. What happened to do it for the money? He says. Give me a second and I'll show you what happened to doing it for the money. Um, it gets hard. It's Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, every once in a while I'll go through that crisis and be like, okay, no one's listening to my music, why am I making it? And, and of course, the whole idea where I'll like, you know, put a bunch of effort into a song and... Uh, put a bunch of effort into a song, work on it for, you know, weeks and weeks and hours and hours and hours. And um, have it, you know, have no one listen to it. And then I'll do a song and I'll work on it. Like my, my most popular song by far and away is a song I spent the least amount of time on. Right? Like it's, em- it's embarrassing how, uh, how bad it is. Like it's, it's just a song I threw together. I was just like, hey, you know what? I, I had this idea in my head. I'd heard this song somewhere and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I should kind of do something with that vibe. And so I just threw something together and put it out there and it has been by far and away in terms of like critical acclaim in terms of the the terms of the money it's made um no question it has been my most popular song speaking of which tmi music if that is your real name um let's talk about the money i've made off of distributing my songs on the streaming platform so the song that i did with existence 130 uh, you know what, who cares? I'm just going to show you guys this stuff. This th- this is the breakdown of all the songs I've released and how much money they've made. So as you can see, this song that came out here has made two cents. Um, but here is the song that we did with Existence 130. It's made $17.06. So if I think about the number of hours I put into working on that song... How much money per hour was I making? I mean, even this song here, this, if I had the chance, this is what I was talking about. That's like the, my most successful by far and away, 28,000 streams, holy cow. And it's made 50 bucks. So it's like, it's kind of embarrassing how, uh, let's just say I don't do this for the money. Let's just, let's just say that. Um, yeah. Can we just, can we just say that? I think we just did. Anyways. So I guess I do it for the love. I mean, that it's kind of like, that's kind of one of the, the double-edged swords of uh, 
of the modern era. It's a lot of streams. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but it's somehow still not a lot of streams, you know what I mean? Um, the thing about music in the modern era is that on one hand, it's good because it's super accessible. Um, you know, it's super accessible. It's easy to make. Like, everyone's got access to everything they could possibly need to make music. And for free, too. You don't have to... If you want to make music, you don't have to pay a cent. If you already own a computer... Um, I mean, if you don't own a computer, then yeah, you need to buy a computer. But if you already own a computer, uh, then you have access to everything you need to be able to make music. How do you like DistroKid? I love it. It just makes everything super easy. Um, but that's also a disadvantage of the music in the modern era is that uh, any, yeah, anybody can make music with whether or not they should. So take me, for example. I mean, I have music on DistroKid. I have music on in all the music stores, thanks to DistroKid, because I just pay for it to be there. It's not because anybody thought it was good. Uh, I bought it last year, didn't even put anything up. Yeah, it's super sweet. It's super nice. They make it super easy and take care of everything for you. And hashtag not sponsored. But, um, but yeah, it was, uh, it is one of those scenarios where it's like, you know, I, um, I have music in these stores because I paid to have music in the stores. Um, because, like, back in the day, if you were, you know, even, like, 20 years ago or something, um, someone else had to like your music, you know what I mean? Like, you, even if, even if you, the odds of you having your own studio or something were pretty slim. So somebody else had to like your music for your music to get published. Um, whereas now, with computers, even I have music on Spotify. And that says something. All right. Um, Never thought of this. I could probably take my piano songs and port them into Ableton and create a song from that. I mean, why not, right? That's what I did a lot of, like, uh, before many, many, many moons ago. Um, when I would record my own stuff and, you know, there was no disc record because there was no Spotify or iTunes or whatever. And I'd put music on my own website. Um... That's what I did. I just had a bunch of stuff on... I just had my keyboard. And I would, uh, just play into it, record a bunch of songs. That's basically, like, all I did for the most part was just piano stuff. I did other random stuff too, but for the most part it was mainly just a lot of piano stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, why not? They want two maple syrups? Dang! What do you want two maple syrup for? Why do fish want syrup? Answer me that. Why do why do these fish want syrup? It doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna run out of parsnips again. What if I should Ooh, I almost planted starfruit. That would have been bad. Uh I wonder if I should uh buy more parsnips? I probably should. Make a bit more money, I guess. Speaking of money. The only thing I'm good at making money in is Star Stardew Valley. Oh, I have 145 left? Okay, I'm now I'm just hallucinating. Why the parsnips? Uh, the parsnips because I want to have... I don't know how familiar you are with Stardew Valley. Um, but basically, crops only crops only grow in, in their season. So I'm in spring right now. Um, I've got for two more days. Um, parsnips... So in the transition to summer, first day of summer, all the parsnips will die. But the advantage to that is I'll ha with the dead plants... All I'll have to do is take my scythe, which I have, like, two of in here, grab a scythe, and I can just quickly cut up all of the um, dead parsnips and then replant my summer crops. Um, yeah. So it basically saves time, because if I didn't do that, what I would have to end up doing is is um, a lot of these spots on the ground wouldn't be hoed anymore. I'd have to take my hoe and hold them. And then if you hoe dry dirt, then you have to water it. So it just takes way more time. So I'm basically spending a bit of money to... Um, um, spend a bit of money on parsnip seeds to 
get them in the ground so that the ground stays watered and stayed ho stays hoed going into summer, which is the season that comes after spring, in case anyone was wondering. Yep. Anyways, um, still have parsnips on me. Can I sell anything else? Probably shouldn't. All right, let me grab another maple syrup. And then we should probably do some gifting today, actually. Um, so maybe I'll go hit the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the secret woods. And do I have any ginger here anywhere? Yes, I do. Sweet. Uh, we'll go to the secret woods. Uh, I need to buy some sugar as well. Totally going to forget all this stuff. Uh, we're going to the secret woods. We're going to buy some sugar and we need to do some gifting and I need to drop these seeds off. Do I need to drop the seeds off? I uh, uh, This star fruit can go inside the house. Anyway, the point is everyone go listen to my songs. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Um, got stuff on me I don't really need. I also don't think I care because it's not really all that bad. So let's go and get some gifting ready to go. All right. So I'm going to pull up my list of people and things I have to gift. Um, 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 um. Oh, guess what else arrived today? Exciting things happened today. Um, two exciting things. Two exciting things arrived for me today. One, I'm glad you asked, is some um, wristbands. So playing pickleball in the heat like we have been, um, I decided to get some wristbands because I sweat like a horse. So the wristbands arrived today, which is exciting. Unfortunately, it's right before my vacation, so I don't really get to use them for a couple of weeks. We'll gloss over that. The other thing that arrived today is this. This is an Insta360 One X2 because they just tacked on, they used to, they were one called Insta360, and then there was the Insta360 One, and then there was the Insta360 One X, and this is now the Insta360 One X2. If they end up saying, calling the next one the Insta360 One X2 R or something, I'm going to be upset. But, um, yeah, I have a 360 camera now, so I am hoping to get some interesting footage uh, for the next, I'm hoping, if things go well, to film an episode of Adventuring with Paul since it's been a hot minute since I've done that. Um, and yeah, oh, on our on our trips here uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, maybe if we're lucky, there'll be a vlog coming. I mean, I say lucky. Depends who you are, I guess. Depends what, which perspective you're looking at that from. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll have a vlog out of my summer of how I spent my summer vacation that is the goal um so Elliot gets an apricot Penny gets a diamond Alex gets an apricot Pierre gets an apricot Caroline gets some green tea uh, Abigail gets an amethyst Harvey gets a coffee Maru gets a diamond Sebastian gets a frozen tear, the dwarf gets a topaz, and Leo isn't here yet. Okay. Oh, wait, no, hold on. What's-his-face gets a pomegranate. What's-his-name? Poet, poet guy. Elliot. Elliot gets a pomegranate. All right. Sweet. I really need some more, uh... Oh, the traveling carts here. I wonder what the traveling cart has going on. Eggplant, cave carrot, eel, puffer slime, bug meat, tulip, scorpion, carp. I don't think I need any of this stuff. All right. I'm stuck. There we go. Since so, so I'm excited to use the, uh, I'm excited to use the the camera. I'm doing some testing, trying to figure out how to even get it into my editing program to edit. So I think I have all my proof of concept stuff done. So I'm pretty excited about that. That smell, come closer. Yeah, okay, bear. I'm just gonna walk right up to you. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to a wild bear. Give me a break. I live in Canada, man. I cannot walk up to a wild bear. 
It's not every day I get to speak to a human. It looks like you've got a little forest magic in you. Or I'm tripping balls. Now about my note, did you bring the good stuff? <laughs> totally doing a drug deal with a, a random bear in the woods. Bear's tripping out now. That smell, this is really sweet stuff. It's my favorite sauce. It makes me very happy. Hopefully happy enough to not eat me. Oh, no, take it easy. Personal space. You've made a friend today, Paul. Until you decide to eat me to death. I've got something special I want to show you. Your stomach lining? The bear left you with his special knowledge. Salmon berries and black berries are now worth three times the gold. Nice. The bear left you with a special knowledge. If a bear craps in the woods and no one's around to see it, what time is it in Timbuktu? Okay, anyways, uh, all right, let's see if we can find some people to give some gifts to. It is a Friday. The resort is cutscene. What cutscene says, hey Shane, you look, un you, you look unusually happy today. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Huh? Let me guess, Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer. Oh, get wrecked, Shane. You alcoholic bitch. Uh, no, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. Good for you, Shane. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me, and it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. Howdy, boy, Shane. Still not gonna marry you, because... Still an alcoholic. Uh, hi, Jazz. I've got something for you. <gasps> A present? What is it? The, these are real bunny jewel slippers. All right. But but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? How, how young is she that she's worried about the money? I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Eesh. All right, Jazz is not here, Shane is. Let's give Shane his hot pepper. Uh, eh, oh, eh, all right, let me look at some friendship here. Who am I hoping to max out here? I'm hoping to max out Jody today. Uh, probably won't, but hopefully. Hoping to get close with Gus as well. Max out Emily, max out Leah, that's good. Getting close with Krobus too, that's good. So we're getting there, we are getting there. It's 10.50 a.m. Where is everybody going to be at 10.50 a.m.? There's Kent. Oh, Kent gets um, apricot. I'm off to work now. Blessings are off to work. Dang. Burn the minute. Oh, thanks for the raid existence, 130. Th thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Have a great night. Have a great shift. Hope it goes swimmingly. Where's Vincent? Uh, have we maxed out Jody? Yes, we have. Sweet. Yes. Jody can off my list. All right. Uh, we gotta hit up Emily and what's her face? Haley. Haley, Emily is not here. Eleven twenty. Where is Emily gonna be? I don't know. Uh, Gus should be getting close to the counter. Oh, never mind. Okay, Alex. There's Alex. I'm glad he's outside. It'll make it easier to get to. Oh, I gotta swing by. Uh, Krobus and yeah, I forgot to do that. We gotta swing by Krobus and we gotta swing by. Um, Something else. The uh, Willy and and uh, Elliot. There we go. <laughs> wow, words. Oh, I forgot it's Friday. Krobus doesn't speak on Fridays. Probably should I? Hmm, maybe I should have gone to the desert and just bought a bunch of starfruit seeds in advance of. Uh,
replanting Ginger Island. Probably should have done that. Oh well. Uh, let's grab my mead, give this to Willy. Okay. So now I'm looking for jazz. Actually, you know what? I'll bet you jazz on a Friday. I want to throw out the library, jazz and Vincent. If they're not at the beach, hopefully they're not in like cinder sap or something. Hopefully the three of them are here. Yes. Okay. So jazz gets a pink cake. Come here, jazz. Wait, I'm, I don't need to give Vincent anything anymore, do I? No, I've maxed out Vincent, okay. Uh, Penny. Penny gets a diamond. Okay. Uh, we should be able to get to Gus now. We've already maxed out Clint. Um, what are we doing for quests right now? Ship have 100,000 of freshly cooked items. Hmm. Oh, there's Caroline. Oh, but I've given Caroline two gifts already. Have I not? I put it to you, sir. That we have given Caroline two gifts already. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay. Not a problem. Let's go see Gus, who I'm pretty sure I have not given two gifts to this week. I have not. Man, Gus is good peoples, though. Gus is my dude. Why can't I marry Gus? I also need to, like, do something. There's something with this shipping 100,000 worth of items. Um, what is it now? But I think I need to just go and buy... Hold up a second, let me have a look. Some about this. Uh, 100,000. Okay, so, there we go. One can buy 1,667 wheat flour to cook 1,667 bread, which sells for that many. So I need 1,667 wheat. And I'm going up there anyways. Oh, actually, I'll stop by the clinic first and see if Harvey's at home. Where's Harv? I wonder if he's up in his room. Nope. Whoop, whoops. Don't mind me, I'm just smacking your tiles. It's fine. Uh, Harvey could be anywhere. I'm not going to worry about Harvey right now. It is Friday, so I think he's going to go to the saloon. Not doing that quest because it's a George quest. Harvey's right here, never mind. Um, let's give Harvey the coffee. Don't drink the coffee, give it to Harvey. Abigail gets an amethyst. Never mind, get her two gifts already. Uh, have I given Pierre two gifts? Yes. Okay. Um, who am I missing? So glad we've hit maxed out Jody. T taking care of Gus. Taking care of Pierre. Taking care of Krobus. We've maxed out Emily. I'll take Emily off my list. Uh, we're getting close with Willie. We've maxed out Leah. Jazz, Caroline, Alex, Harvey. I need to give Harvey and Maru more gifts. Sebastian. I gotta head up there and dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Harvey tomorrow. Maru and Sebastian I should be able to do today. I will, however, purchase. Where's the wheat flour? It is wheat flour I'm buying, right? Wheat flour. Yes. 1,000. Where's the wheat flour? There it is. 1,000. Wait for it. How'd the chief root cat challenge go? I think I'm. I, I think I pulled it off. I think I pulled it just. I think I just pulled it off. I almost very badly screwed up um, and miscalculated how many I needed. But thanks to some. Um, by that many. Thanks to some deluxe speed grow in the greenhouse. Um. I think I'm going to get away with it. Now, what I went and did there... 
Uh, I might be okay, hopefully. I screwed up and bought all this wheat flour, and I don't have any money to buy starfruit seeds, but I'm going to be selling the wheat, so it might be okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to be okay. I think I need... What do I need? I need 50 more. <clears throat> and assuming I counted correctly, I got 50 in the greenhouse, so we should be okay. Fingers crossed. If we're not, I will just weep gently to myself and, you know, as one does. Because I was... It'll basically be three wasted weeks in game, which is just killing me on the inside. Um, but yeah, because that's three weeks I could have spent making kegs or whatever. So hopefully, hopefully we pull it off. Hopefully it works out in the end. And of course, I keep getting distracted by all this gifting stuff because I want to get this gifting done. What do you do when you aren't working? I'm going to say comic books. Have you read the new Cave Saga X? I won't spoil it for you, but oh man. Figured you might like that. Okay, um... Let's... Oh, let's go gift the dwarf one of these guys. And, uh... Yeah, then we'll head back to the farm. Ship 100,000 breads. 100,000 bread. Ship 100,000 gold worth of bread. And, yeah. That should solve that key, chi, chi challenge. It's a key challenge. And I'm just going to leave those. I'm going to leave all of that. Uh, let's head back to the house. Don't think I can do the greenhouse loop for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grind, man. It's a grind. I feel that. I feel that in my bones. It's definitely a grind doing that. Doing anything like that. I keep forgetting to give Willie that stinking worm. Maybe 1.8 mil, though? Nice. Nice. Beauty. Yeah, I'm kind of... I, I mean, I should be fine. Um, But I need 14 million. I think. It's around 14 million, and I only have 104,000. So, I really need to get the kegs going. I might have to break the bank buying materials to make kegs. We shall see. I've made... I have two mil, but haven't unlocked the sewers yet. Nice. What I, what I would really love to do is buy the return scepter from Krobus, but... There's absolutely zero chance that that happened in this run. Because, honestly, I've been so inefficient trying to do everything at once instead of just kind of picking one thing at a time to do that um yeah there's there's no way there's no way i'm gonna have there's no way i'm gonna want to spend two million um there's no way i'm gonna want to spend two million gold on that don't mind me just making some bread a lot of button mashing There's a thousand. Okay, I need six, six, seven, right? It's six, I think it's sixteen, sixty-seven. I want to say I'll do sixteen, sixty-eight just to be safe. Oh my goodness, the mashing! Oh, whoops. Okay, right click for only one. One, six, six, eight. Just to be safe, let me just confirm... Actually, hold on. I need 1,667 wheat flowers to make 1,667 bread, but... That is 1,667, so just for one more, just to be safe. There we go. So that should be all I need for those chi gems. Sell, sell, and while I'm here, I'll sell that, and I'll sell that. And I'll sell that. Okay. Okay. Drop these gifts off. Uh, I think that's it. Because I want to turn the coffee that I have on me into triple shot espresso, which I will do forthwith. Why is it not stacking now? Fresh triple shot? What's the difference between fresh triple shot and triple shot? 
I've never seen that before. Cat7, excellent idea, Staten J, thank you. That ice water is so good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm that guy, I'm that guy that's like, ooh, this, this water is incredible, look at this, look at this. this water is amazing. It's only active during the Chi quest. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I had no idea. The more you know. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let me get rid of my wheat. Um, let me get rid of, I guess, so 4.30 p.m. Um, I gotta wait for tomorrow to make all the money, so I'm not gonna go buy starfruit right now. I will, however, maybe go cut down some more trees, do some more planting, and I will also take all of the fiber with me. This is a little unfortunate because I still need, uh, fresh has been made since you started the quest. Oh, interesting. Huh. I had no idea. Uh, how much fiber? I still need 13 fiber for something or other. What do I need it for? I still gotta make probably. What haven't I made? <gasps> I meant to stop by Robbins and buy all these recipes. Crap. I wonder if I can make. I don't think I can. Ah, crap. Well, let's head up there anyways and see if um. Let's see if I can catch her when she walks in front of her counter or something. Let's go up there right now. If I can catch her when she walks in front of the counter, I need to buy all those recipes from her. Can't for, keep forgetting to do that. So I think she wraps up at five, but if I, or maybe it's early, is it four? I don't know. If I hurry, might be able to catch her. She's long gone, long gone. All right, never mind. We'll stop by another time. Uh, all right, let's go cut down some trees and we'll do some tree replanting and we'll cut through, do some tree fertilizing and we'll do some whatever else. Because I need all of the wood. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to smash this fertilizer. I think 38, that's, yeah. No more fiber for me. I just really need these trees to grow. Can I fertilize that? Oh, nice, I can. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Want more lamb? Yeah, the goal is like all fertilizer all the time now. Which means I'm gonna need a pretty solid source of fiber. I probably shouldn't have been throwing all my fiber away. That's rather unfortunate. That's okay, we're, we're gonna get through it. I'm just trying to avoid having to buy wood. I might have to. Might have to buy everything else, but I'm trying to not have to buy wood. Fingers crossed. So we got two more of these guys. Let's get these trees growing. Very nice. In fact, I think I can actually make. Um, if I'm not mistaken. I think I can make like a couple more kegs maybe if I had the wood. Possibly. I don't know, let's find out. Now where does that one go? That one goes there. And that one can go. Where did I I just cut down a tree, I have no idea where I planted it. Uh Okay, whatever. So let's just fertilize that one. Can I not plant a tree up here, or is this like where someone's gonna walk? Oh no, I can plant something there. Okay. Oh, there's a tree there, that's why. That's embarrassing. Or part of a tree. It's kind of where that texture was cutting enough there. Okay, so tree, 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 uh, tree, 
sure. Uh, fertilizer, 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 fertilizer. This is looking really good. These trees are going to grow up super fast. So we should hopefully have a decent amount of wood. Give me those pine cones. Nice. Okay. I feel like I need more maple trees growing. I, might, I got some maples on over there. I might do some maples here. I would like to upgrade my, my axe to a gold axe or something, but unfortunately, I can't spare the gold because I kind of need it for... Uh, I kind of need it for... There's an ant on my wall. One second. Let me know. Okay, let's cut down... What time is it now? 10 p.m. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's get some maple trees planted. Okay, can need more maple seeds than that. Okay, we've got four now, it's good. We've got four from three. We've got four from four. <laughs> The maple game is not strong. Okay, let me just plant them along here anyways. And you know what? I'm running out of time. Let's just get these things planted and fertilized. Okay. And let's... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Let's do these guys, I guess. One. There's a maple. I want to kind of keep a, a, a fair balance of uh, trees because eventually, if I need to, I want to be able to use them for um, what's my columns? Field snacks. All right, it is midnight. Let's get back to the hoose. I, mean, I guess I could just burn through. Just plant it on whatever. I mean, better to use it than not, I guess. Twelve thirty. Anything else that's small? What about this guy? What about this guy? Nice. All right. Sweet, so we've got a whole bunch of trees, they're all fertilized. That is going to be good in the end, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I also make enough money on bread that uh, I can go and buy, I'll end up with the 240,000 that I need to replant Ginger Island. So tomorrow the plan is to um, go to the desert as soon as we can, buy oh so many um, starfruit seeds. Then quickly go to Ginger Island and uh, plant them. That is the goal. And we have another 700 wood, which is actually really good. How many more kegs can I make? None. That's unfortunate. Because I don't have any oak resin. Okay, that's we're going to have to just wait on that. I'm, you know, I might make some more tappers. Um, I see two trees at least. There's another three right there. That's good. That one has already. Uh, there was some over here, but this is a disaster. I, I don't want to deal with that. And it's 130. So, and it's 140. So let's just... I mean, how many more do we make there? Like five? It's not so bad, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm screwed. I am not very confident that I'm going to be able to pull off the money now. Oof. But we'll see. I mean, if that's the one thing I got to do, that's the one thing I got to do, right? So I got to make it happen.
Oh, didn't quite get all the coffee. Oh well. All right. <clears throat> Oof, 109. Oh, I th think that should be enough. I might just have enough. Might have to sell some star fruit to make some money, but we have 264,000. Nice. Super nice. All right. Grab some more of the triple shots. We'll throw another uh, truffle into the truffle oil maker, or into the oil maker, and make truffle oil. Um, wow. Wow. All right. I'm not going to harvest anything now. Um, a jade, nice. Not going to harvest anything. I'm simply going to... I wonder if I just use it. Uh, there's no point in me using a desert totem until 9, because Sandy doesn't open until 9. Um, quick check of the friendship as well. What's the friendship sitch? Emily. No, we've maxed out Emily. Uh, Jazz. Harvey. Jazz and Harvey. Might be worth doing. Jazz and Harvey. All right. I forgot the milking pail. Yeah, it's a shame to... No, wait. No, I do want to replant. I do want to replant everything. Yeah, because I want to harvest those. Basically, I'm going to replant everything. Um... Replant everything. Until I can't replant anymore. All right, so... Milk. Got milk. All right. Got cheese. So, I have two days left to ship 50. When are these going to finish? Hopefully they'll finish tomorrow, and I'll, and I'll pull it off on the last day. Oof. That's just so rough. Alright, I was really hoping to get uh, the rabbit's foot. I could really use the boost. Because I shipped one, but I still need one... Not need, but I would really like one to give to the guy behind the Jojo Mart so I can permanently increase my luck. Okay. So these parsnips were all just extra money. I might just sell these right to Pierre, actually. Any reason I wouldn't do that? I don't think so. I should just sell them right to Pierre. Anything in there? No. Oh, there are some parsnips down below, though. Hello, uh, Eva for Eva Five Place. Here for a look. Want to say hello? Well, thank you for saying hello. I appreciate it. Then thank you for the look. All right, 8 a.m. I think I will go swing by Pierre. Uh, actually, let me go see if I can give Jazz this kick right now. It's the last kind of thing I can, last loved gift I can give her. Oh, cutscene. Hi, I'm Mr. Paul. What up, Vincent? What up, B-Dog? Sw swing onion. Mom sends me out to pick these sometimes. They're too spicy for me. <laughs> the onion's too spicy for you. You're really nice for a grown-up, so I'm gonna show you a secret. Okay. Show me a secret. Have I seen this cutscene before? I don't know if I have. When you see it like this, it looks good, right? Yeah. But if you peel it a little bit, It's full of bugs. Is that good somehow? Cool, huh? <laughs> um, what do you do with the bugs, Vincent? 
Usually I just squash them. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Mr. Paul, please put the bugs back in the grass so they can live in peace. Har, har, har. You learn how to clean spring onion without harming any bugs. They're worth five times the gold. Nice. Almost worth me going to try and find some to pick. Almost. I was open at nine. Right. In... Throw the fruit away and start over. It's almost the worst, isn't it? When you're like trying to clean a piece of fruit or a vegetable or something and it's like bugs in it. Although I have to admit, I've, I've gotten lucky. It's been a while since I've had any bugs to deal with. How's the weather? Hot. You know what's funny about this game is that the people in my mind who are the most marriageable candidates are the people who are not allowed to marry. Like Marnie. Marnie's super nice. Loves animals. She wastes all her time with uh, flipping Lewis, who treats her like garbage. Gus. Gus is absolutely the dude. Can't marry Gus. Caroline. Caroline deserves so much better than Pierre. What the heck is Harvey? Um, I've never encountered this in my life. Also, I don't buy fruits. <laughs> don't buy fruits and vegetables. But if I found a bug in my food, I'd never eat it again. Where do you suppose Harvey's gone? All right, well, I'm here now. Let's sell some stuff. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Up to 270, that's pretty good. I really want to find Harvey today before I run out of week. Uh, where is, you know what, let me look it up. Let me see if I can find where Harvey is. Harvey in spring on a Saturday goes to the museum. Okay. And then I will hustle back to the bus. We'll go into um, the desert. We'll buy. Oh, actually, you no, know else we need to do in the desert. We, there's an artifact we can get. I uh, can't remember which one, uh, but there is an artifact somewhere we can get. Which one is it? I'm trying to think of where it is. So we'll grab that artifact. That's the wrong place, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Uh, if you ever find like a bit of mold in your food after you've already like several bites deep, I'll do you one better than that. So once upon a time, I was living in a place. Um, it, it's only mildly relevant that we had a I had I had a portable air conditioner. Um, this was many, many moons ago, um, and uh, had this portable air conditioner. It was a hot summer, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna make like something for people, make some food." Um, so I decided to do. I think it was like a chicken stir fry or something like that. So we get a bunch of chicken and we chop it up, and um, you know, we cook. Crap! I don't want that many. Although I do need another fifty. That's six thirty-five. I need another fifteen. And to be fair, should I just blow the rest of the money on starfruit seeds? No, I should blow the rest of the money on stuff for kegs. I can't do that because... Can't do that. I can't do that because I don't have oak resin, so it doesn't matter. So... Get back to my story in a second. I need to... So 600 for Ginger Island, roughly. Uh, and then a 90-something at 700. I'm not going to be able to afford 700. And I got to replant that... I Oh my goodness, yeah, I gotta just buy as many as I can. I'm gonna have to sell some star fruit. There's no way I'm gonna pull this off. Because I need to replant the farm here in two days. So... That's the thing. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we, you know, we, we chopped the chicken up. And the chicken was... Um, it could have been worse. You know, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, it's been in the fridge for a little bit, but it should be fine, it should be fine. So we cook up this chicken... <laughs> And pretty soon it's like things are starting to not smell great and everything. And 
the chicken had gone bad. Like it, it had just, the chicken was not good. But because I tried to cook it, the smell got into the portable air conditioning and ended up smelling up the entire apartment. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh my goodness. So it smelled like just like awful chicken for, and it was in like the air conditioning filter too. Like it wasn't just, oh, we'll just blow it through. It'll be fine kind of thing. It was like, no, it was like stuck. So yeah, it was real not great. So yes, I have started eating something to only find only to find that it was not great. To answer your question, yes. There's your answer. Okay. Quickly to Ginger Islands. Already noon, which isn't great. I don't have AC, but I have a rotten chicken, a rotten chicken aroma maker. I don't have AC, but the smell of rotten chicken. Have you ever thought to yourself, did this before in the game too. Okay, I need to come up with a thousand gold immediately. I mean, I gotta sell some starfruit anyways, maybe I'll just sell some of the starfruit I have. If I can get to the house, get enough starfruit to make it sell to, to Pierre. Let's see if I can pull that off. We just had a thing happen at work a couple weeks ago where the water from the water cooler cooler smelled funny. Uh oh. What happened? Go on. I was drinking out of my bottle and I'm like, why did I get in my hands? All right, let me. Oh, I missed a parsnip spot there. That's not a parsnip. That's a parsnip. That's not a knife. This is a knife. All right, that can go in there for now. If I wash my hands, drink some more, I'm like, wait, it's the water. Uh-oh. All right, a star fruit. They sell for, oh, I can sell like two. 750 a pop. I'll just go like bang, bang, and that should be enough. All right, quickly. We gotta get to Pierre's, then get to Willie's before 5 p.m. It was like when we were in Mexico, I guess two years ago now. And, it, you know, we talked to people about the water, and I was like, hey, so about the water. Oh, I just need to sell one. All right. Um... And somebody at the resort was like, okay, yeah, I mean, it smells bad, but come on, this is like a major resort. Like, it's, of course you could drink the water. It smells bad, but whatever. I told one of my coworkers that he said, last time that happened, the water guy left a paper towel inside there. Ooh, that is kind of nasty. Um, mmm, fiber. Anyways, uh, so... So anyway, we're in Mexico, and I decide, okay, I'm going to test this water just to see. I mean, apparently it's safe to drink, even though it probably tastes awful. Um, let's see if it's safe to drink. So I had a taste, and uh, oh boy. It was, um, didn't bring a gift for Leo. Dang. Can I give him... Ah, oh, crap. Can I give him a parsnip? He likes parsnips? He does like parsnips. Alright, you we Leo gets a parsnip. Just so I can give him something. I'm sad today. I'd love to stay in here, but why? Except I'm lying when I say that. Alright, let's get these guys. Let's replant a farm. Ever since I bring four giant bottles with me, so I don't need to refill. Well, that's what happened when we were in Mexico, is um, I tried drinking the water. It was just like... It was awful. Like, it was just... I'm sorry. It was just not good. Um, so, we went to Costco. We went to Mexico. And we went to a Costco in Mexico. And we bought some bottled water. It was kind of funny being at a Costco in Mexico. Because... You kind of, you're like walking around and you're at Costco, right? Like no one's expecting, oh yeah, I'm going to have tourists at Costco or whatever. Um, and of course I don't speak a, a word of Spanish. Um, 
And so I, but I kind of realized, like, you kind of walk in there, you flash your card, everyone's like, okay, great, you flashed your card. Um, I'm walking there and we're shopping away and whatever. Um, and then, you know, we go to the checkout and they check us out and pay with our card and say gracias and that was it. And it was like, huh, I almost feel like I'm native. Do they have bomb Mexican food sample? I don't actually know. I don't remember seeing any at the time, to be honest, but then again, we weren't really looking for them either. We were just looking for, like, water for the most part. That would have been sweet, though. Maybe one day I'll, I'll try to finish learning Spanish. The problem is, like, I was learning Spanish and then I realized I was, like, forgetting more than I was learning. And without anybody to speak Spanish with, it's like there's no way for me to practice or anything. And I'm like, am I, am I pronouncing it properly? Like, is this just a waste of my time? So I kind of gave up on Spanish. Perhaps another... Another time of my life. I will finish learning how to speak Spanish, but... Finish my Spanish course on Duolingo. So this is good, this is good. Getting this this, uh, this harvest is a good thing. I just need more kegs. Um, so I guess while I wait for more oak resin to, uh, to pop... Um, see, the question is going to be... When do I stop trying to... Like, when do I stop waiting for oak resin, right? Like... Um, that's going to be the question, ultimately. Because at some point, I'm going to have to just sell everything, probably. I, I have a feeling I'm not actually going to make all the money I need. Um, so that's the question, ultimately, is, I mean, yes, okay, I want to have the kegs to make more money, but do I even have enough crop spaces... Like, if I were to sell all of this starfruit, would I have enough crop spaces to make the money I need just selling the starfruit without kicking anything? Or at least not without kicking everything? That's the, That I'm not sure about. But yeah, I really need more kegs. Oof. Oh, missed a spot. There we go. Oh, missed another spot. There we go. Yeah, this is, um, the thing about it is that, like, I know this is totally doable. Like, if, if I was better at video games or whatever, which would not be a problem. Um, but I get so distracted. I guess that's the lesson for next time. If I do this challenge again, that's going to be the challenge for next time is, okay, just pick what you're going to focus on and just do that. So, like, in year one, just focus on making money or whatever. Um, you know, focus on the money so that in year two you can just yeah, everything's set up and you can just kind of laze around as far as crops go. That's what I was hoping to do. I just kind of figured, okay, year one, I'll do a bunch of friendship, I'll do things like the fishing and whatever else, and then year two I'll worry about uh, making money, but now I'm already at the end of spring, year two, and I have no money. So <laughs> I have a thousand gold. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Am I gonna make 14 million by the end of the year? Don't know. I may not. It should be a real shame. It would be a real shame. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed it all goes well. You know, should I have picked the forest farm? I don't know, maybe not. You need those... Kaga a while back? The what now? Oh, I missed something up here too? Oh, 
Oh, kegs. The kegs a while back. Yeah, I needed the cab. I needed to already have the kegs going for sure. Yeah, this is this this is what me being easily distracted uh, gets me. All right, Ginger Island is officially 100% replanted. Just out of curiosity, just for funsies. How much money would I make if I sold this star fruit? So this is a ginger island harvest. Uh, so we've got 276 times. Uh, I'm, I'm, am I tiller or am I artisan? What am I? I think I'm tiller. No, I'm artisan. Oh, I am tiller. Crops with 10% more. Okay, yeah. 10% more. Okay. So. Uh, 825, 825, plus, um, you'll make a third of what you could get with kegs, though. Exactly. That's the concern. So, plus, uh, 128 times 1237, plus... 200 times 1030. The number should still be correct. So that's a half a million. So I'm going to make a half. A, if I were to sell it straight up, that's a half a million every two weeks. I've got, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Because even if I go to that time six, that's only three million. Wow. So if I, I'm not going to make it. There's no way. If I if I just planted star fruit and I sold the next, I just sold it straight up. Ginger Island, sell it. I'm only making three mil. If I go two seven six plus one two eight plus two hundred, so let's call it six hundred just to be safe. I've got six hundred now. I'm gonna have plus twelve hundred for oops. Plus 1,200 for summer, plus 2,400 for the last part of the year. That's 4,200 times 3,150 is 13 million. So I would literally need, literally need to keg everything to make enough money to finish this, including the stuff I have on me right now. I would have to keg everything. I am, what's the word, boned. Or maybe not, actually, because I'm still going to be able to plant the regular farm. But I still have to keg. But that's the thing. I still have to keg everything from Ginger Island, though. Right? Like, I still have to keg 4,200 4, or more star fruit. So... I mean, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure um, what exactly to do. Oof. Make more sprinklers. Can I make more sprinklers? What do I have? Can make 11 more sprinklers. As many crops as I can get. Grow some garden pots on the island. We're going to need a pump on the star fruit markets, please, Reddit. Um, yeah, the garden pots isn't going to be enough, though. Like, how many garden pots am I going to have? You know what I mean? Like, it's, the garden pots is not going to be lucrative enough, methinks. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to put down 11 more. Sprinklers. Looks like I put one there, right? Yeah, it looks like it. And we'll throw one, I don't know. I should probably make another scarecrow at some point too. I don't want to lose any crops. Um So basically my, what I have to do is hang on to my I'm gonna have to sell some star fruit, because I'm gonna need the money to buy more star fruit to plant the farm. Um 
but yeah, having done that, now I just need a crap ton more um, oak resin. Um, I might knock down some of these trees because I'm gonna like get a hundred thousand a day from the skull caverns. Yeah, that's not uh, not an option for me. I am not good enough in the skull cavern. No, no idea why I cut that hardwood. Uh, you know, I might leave a couple of these. Uh, so I can put three more um, tappers over here. That's the thing, like... Oh, I should have left this tree as well, actually. Oh, whatever. The thing is that, like, if I had the resources, I wouldn't even worry about it. Like, even if it's at the last second, so what? 4,200... Oh, no! I just realized... You have massed the Stardew Army 11. What's that, Blackberry Jam? Yeah, it's not my fault. That was I got it rated by Existence 130, who is a very lovely and talented uh, singer and musician and streamer person, um, who I did a song with last year or the year before, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's not my fault. Uh, but hi, how are you doing? Um, so I just realized, yeah, it's not going to work because to keg 4200 star fruit, I would need. 1,500 kegs. Long time on chat, looking forward to your next music stream. It's going to be a bit. It'll be short, probably shortly after I fail this challenge. Uh, yeah. I, I think I failed it. I think I failed it. We're still going to play it out. We're still going to play it out. But I am... I think I kind of wet the bed. Because I don't think... That I'm going to be able to make enough money that I to make to for stuff. I don't think. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, yeah. New stream or new new challenge. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I'm a yeah. I'm not convinced it's gonna work. I just even if I had the obelisks, there's no way I'm there's no way I'm gonna have enough. Uh... Enough money for the golden clock. Unless I just get super lucky with um Oh, there's a truffle right there. Unless I just get super lucky with uh, crops on the farm. But again, I mean, I can make no kegs right now. Like, I have one block of iron. I don't want to buy a bunch of iron. You can jack the casino with Blades Predictor. <laughs> I could do that. That is true, actually. That is actually very completely entirely true. Yeah, I might have to do that. Mobile. Uh, for those of you wondering, it is still 39 degrees Celsius outside right now. Or it wasn't 9 o'clock a half hour ago. 39 degrees. Uh, see you later, Blackberry Jam. So yes, I will... Um, I will probably wrap up the stream after this day. But for now, um, let me just do some cleanup stuff. Let's do that. Drop. Uh, I'm just gonna put this truffle in the tr oil maker. Um. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, so actually, I'll just deal with my inventory. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's crazy that uh, that fresh triple shot is not something I expected. Uh, sell the m no, not sell the sea. Sell the. What am I selling? I sold it already. Uh, we're storing those and we'll store the hardwood can i stack them now oh they do stack now okay sweet store the stone okay i think we're looking pretty good yeah i might have to uh i might have to cheat 
anyway, so the plan for next time is pretty much the same as the plan for this time. I'm just going to wrap up right now. The plan for next time is pretty much the same as the plan for this time. It's just kegs. We just need all of the kegs. Uh, animals, ship chi beans, plant parsnips. Uh, we got tree fertilizer going. More gifting, more kegs. We did that. Uh, buy recipes from Robin. I want to do that. All li Literally all the kegs. I need like 5,000 kegs right now. <laughs> Not enough kegs. Never enough kegs. Uh, did that, did that. We're going to finish the birdie quest, if I remember. Uh, we got that artifact. We got it donated. Um, and yeah, that's really all we're doing. Spring 28. And we need to buy star fruit for the uh, uh for the farm sell star fruit to make enough but how many do you need okay uh yes that's the plan for next time i'm uh gonna wrap up the youtube recording if you're watching this on youtube congratulations for making it this far you are very resilient um and yeah that's the plan for next time farewell